Welcome everyone to Timber and Stone. I just bought this game a couple days ago and uh, I played it for maybe, I don't know, maybe about a half hour and I want to uh, play it here for you today as a second uh, game that I'm going to be playing on my channel. I normally don't play these building type games uh, all that often but uh, I'm working on a couple things as far as fixing my mic on both Minecraft and on timber and stone here so what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over this game with you and uh, kind of start off slow because I the first hour that I played I had a little bit of issue with a bunch of things because I didn't really understand the game so what I wanted to do is I want to go over a couple things really quick explain a couple things to you if you want to get this game head on over to their website it'll be in the description it's a great game to play as I've seen so far it's just you gotta know you have it's a little bit of a learning curve when you start off start off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this guy right here I'm gonna left click on him and his name is Dell these are they, they name their characters when they get into the game so um, you I guess you can rename them whatever but I haven't gotten that far so let's we left click we have a yellow box around him in the bottom right hand corner we can click on the first box there it tells us that he's a level 2 blacksmith. His status is normal on the right hand side. It gives his health, fatigue, level, morale, hunger, disloyal. Don't know what that is right now. What we're going to want to do in the future is look at these current tasks that he has planned. So let's click on the little the second box down that tells us that this is what he is. He's a level 2 blacksmith right now. In this case what I want to do is I want to make him a wood chopper. Because I'm gonna, there's really not much he can do as a blacksmith to begin with, so I'm gonna make him a wood chopper. All right. Then we click on the second box down. I'm not really worried about that right now. Or the third box down. I'm gonna click on the fourth box, and I'm gonna tell him to wait in the hall while idle. And I'll explain what that means later on, so that you know where these guys are at. The rest of it we can, we'll change later once he he gets involved. But Dell is now set. We can in the upper right hand corner where Dell it says settler Dell. We're gonna hit the X and we're gonna move to the next guy. This is I don't, I don't even want to say that name because I may uh, forget the H. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. He's clumsy, his health's okay, he's infantry. I don't know how you could be a clumsy infantryman, but in this case he can be. Um, we're going to look at some of the stuff that he can do and we're going to assign it that way. And so in this case, he looks like he's a pretty decent carpenter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign him a carpenter because we don't need infantrymen right away and we'll click an X on that guy. Uh, we will go to Ka Ka well, Katrine. Reminds me of uh, an old movie or whatever. Um, Anyway, so we got a level 3 farmer. We're going to keep him a level 3 farmer. That sounds like a good plan. He seems like he knows what he's doing and we need a farmer. We're also going to wait in the hall while idle. He's not going to be idle much though. And we'll hit X on that one. We're going to go back to uh, PH here and we're going to tell him that we want him to wait in the hall while idle as well. And now we're going to go to Henry Boyle. We're going to click on his attributes he's a level 4 miner we're gonna keep him as a level 4 miner we just want to go to the bottom one again with the wrenches and we're gonna tell wait in the hall while idle same with this one we're gonna to go to Rebecca find out what she is she's a stonemason we need a stonemason so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep her as a stonemason and we'll click X uh, this one foster we need a couple wood choppers we don't have any yet I don't know anything about a herder, so we're going to make this guy a woodchopper as well. We're going to go down to the bottom, wait in the hall while idle. We've got this one. He's a woodchopper. You could tell by his outfit. At least I think that's what his outfit is because he just matched the other guy to the right of him. So I'm, I'm guessing he's a woodchopper as well. But David, we want to look at him. He is a woodchopper, level 3. We're just going to make sure that he... If he doesn't have anything to do, he's going to wait idle. And we've got this guy, Weston. And he, I can't tell by his outfit, is a trader. We really don't need a trader right now. What we do need is probably another, maybe a stonemason. We probably need a stonemason right about now. 
So we'll leave him there, and, and if he doesn't have anything to do, we're going to keep him idle. All right, so before we even start the game, if you notice in the upper right-hand corner, we are on pause. And so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that on pause uh, for a few minutes here. And what we're going to do is we are going to queue up some things. It's not really going to be queue. We're actually going to go to design. We're going to go to dig and mine. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll out just a little bit and try and find some stone. In the upper left-hand corner, there's some stone. In the bottom left-hand corner, there's some stone. And there's a bigger pile probably right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get as high as I can on this, which is right about there. Click once, and I'm going to drag. And then what I'm going to do is hit the up arrow key on your keyboard to include that one. Now I'm missing the two on the left, but don't worry about that. We'll just get that started. And then what we'll do is we'll start on the bottom level again. Drag it out. One left click, drag out and then we will click it again and that should be enough to get started with for that so basically the ones that we have said that they're gonna be mining they're gonna go and mine as soon as you start this game though one of the, if you have more than one miner you basically need to go to resources and you automatically need to assign that some of these things need to be built in resources there's hand tools these people need tools in order to accomplish their jobs miners need um, picks so we have stone picks we have three of them we should be alright I mean we can't have that many miners I don't believe but what we want to do is click on that once and we actually want it because they run out of tools pretty fast we want to maintain four in storage and what we also want to do is we want to click track in this case so that it shows up in the upper right hand corner because we don't want anybody to run out of tools right away now if you look it does say breakable under stone pick on the on the far right where it explains what it what's needed three tools the recipe is that you need a level one stone mason you need raw wood and you need raw stone we have we will have raw stone and we will have wood once we get started so we'll maintain these four once they're in storage we should be alright on that for the short term because we already have three so we'll have four in storage at all time we don't need it we'll put one in queue but I don't think we really need that we're gonna exit out of that and we'll shrink this okay and we'll look at the seeds we have seven corn seven cotton flax and potato seeds what we're gonna do for these guys is we're gonna need a farmer but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out the farm first so in order to lay out the farm we go back to design and make sure that when you hit plus on one of these you hit the minus on the left or the right in order to reset it because I, I had many many problems I would go down here to storage and I would click on wheat let's just say and then I would shrink this and then I'd open it back up same left hand click click on farms or no not click on farms I would click on one of these things objects storage and the only thing that would show would be the hay pile what you need to do at this point is unclick the wheat and then you'd get all your storage back so I just need you to make sure that you follow that along with me as well when we're talking about this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna queue up or actually try and have somebody build a farm we're gonna say corn there's only seven so this is a nice big flat land right here we'll actually shrink these seeds because we don't really need that right now and what we'll do is we'll create a farm left click once drag out to about six and then we'll click one time and let it go we're gonna see what kind of farms we need we already have corn so we're gonna go cotton click one time drag and we're gonna do this again farms flax click one time drag it up we should be alright so that's now we just need potatoes so we're gonna click one time and we should have 12 
there as well. So now what we need to do is we just need to make sure that one of these guys is a farmer. And it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, Catherine is a farmer. So we got one assigned. Uh, the rest of these guys, the guys in the red, we have quite a few of them. And if we look at them, they're a bunch of wood choppers. So what we need to do is we need to make sure, first of all, that we clear our area as best as possible. These aren't grown trees here, fully grown mature trees. So we just want to make sure that they actually clear all trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go under objects. We are going to remove trees and we are just going to clear cut. We're going to clear cut from, I don't know, we'll say from here, left click once, drag, and we will not catch many there. But I'm also going to click over here one time and do the same thing and see if we can't clear cut as much of that as possible. And so what we're going to do is with that, we will actually create a surplus of wood. So what we, And this is all before the game even starts. So since we're going to have a surplus of wood, what we want to do is we, have, we want to be able to... Um, have a storage pile so we want to click on objects storage and we want a storage pile for let's say wood and we're going to say raw wood storage pile so we're going to put that raw wood storage pile probably close to here it doesn't really matter all that much but we can put that there we're also going to say we want a timber pile and since we're going to need um, some things down here what we're going to do is we're going to create this a little bit over here and we're going to say we want the timber pile there all right now we also need to design uh, an object workshop and we want a timbering bench we want it next to here and if you want to move this around you just hit the uh, space bar and let me see if I can get this really close to there because that's where the timbering wood is going to go. And uh, let's just see if we can't create a regular bench, workbench. And we're going to put that space bar and we'll put that pretty close to right there as well. So we have most of our stuff close. I know that the people with the wood's got to come from all the way, uh, you know, above the farms and everything to come back down, but we should be all right there. So there's a bunch of stuff for us to do. Um, but what I want to do right now is just hit play. Uh, bef before I do that, I want to make sure that these people have a place to go when they're not doing anything. So what I want to do is I want to design a hall. And that hall is just going to be in the middle here so that I know that nobody's really got anything to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually extend that out. They'll be there. And obviously this is not going to apply right away. But we do need to get some type of light in the dark. And uh, we'll build a campfire and stuff like that once we get everybody going. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit play. And we're going to see who does what. There's a lot of people working. And uh, so what we need, just need to do is we need to wait until these people go do what they need to do. And uh, we don't have materials to craft a workbench. I understand because people are going to chop down trees. And then you'll have your materials. I assigned too much stuff right away, which isn't the end of the world. So you guys should be all right once we get things going. Um, so I just need to let this go, let the wood build up. And what I'll do is I'll be back with you guys very shortly. All right, so what I'm getting a lot of is I'm getting that we don't have the materials to craft a workbench, things of that nature. So what you could do is you can actually click, this is where our workbench is, we can actually click on it and it says what you need is raw wood, which we don't have any of. That's because the guy over here, he's actually chopping down a tree and it's gonna take him a while to do that. What I do have a lot of is I have these guys just standing around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one of these guys foster I'm going to see what other, he's a level 3 chopper, but I'm going to actually make him, uh, you know, basically mine some stuff because he's just standing there doing nothing. So we can actually uh, make him mine. And look, he already went and he did what he did. 
there's just not enough trees around here for some of these people to do what they got to do. Um, so, and all these guys are just waiting for some materials to come about. How we know this is because we can go to our resources. Actually, we can go to our storage tab, excuse me, shrink that. And what we have is hardly any wood. And we hardly have any wood because not enough people are chopping trees fast enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and assign some more uh, trees. I'm going to zoom out, see if I can't get some more trees over here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so I don't want to go zoom out too far um, for rendering purposes, I guess. And we're going to go and we're going to say remove trees and chop mature. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to click over there and see if we can't get some people to chop some more trees and we'll do the same thing over here hopefully that one got nope it did not and let's see if we can get that yep all right and let's see if this guy resume game uh, let's see if anybody else does we have no materials to craft a workbench plenty of stone guys oh did somebody lose a pick he's crafting one right now um, this guy, we could say to right here, make sure we get those, and he looks like he's about tired, so <laughs> we'll have to look into that, but he don't look like he's too fast. Um, let's uh, resume the game, let's go up here and see what these people want to do. Oh, now we got more people working because they have the tools that they need to make stuff. I could not walk to my desired target. Well, if I knew where your target was, I'd be able to answer your question, but I have no idea where your target is, so I can't do that. And we are gonna get that. Uh, we actually need timber. So let's go to resources. Let's find the process material timber. And we have a level two carpenter. So let's just make sure that we've got Maybe that much queued up. And we'll also track that as well. So once that timber happens, we should be all right. But we need a level two carpenter in order to get that in raw wood, which we have three. So now we just got to find somebody on here who's actually assigned to be a carpenter. Is he actually assigned to be? Let's check out Weston. He is not. He is a stonemason. Is he a carpenter? He is a carpenter. He's a level three carpenter. So he should be able to do whatever he needs to do and accomplish that. So we have a wood pile over here. We have a farmer working over here. What does this require? Timber. So he'll be able to do that as well. Um, this requires a tool of a stone axe, which we seem to be out of. Let's make sure that we get that going. We'll make tools. Stone axe. All right, so we need to make sure that we've got maybe four of those and, and one in queue. And we'll track that as well. So we're, we're rolling along here pretty nicely. Um, mostly we're just waiting on the materials from the, the trees to be chopped and things of that nature. So we can make one person. We don't need that. We can make one person maybe a forger. And let me find out what Rebecca does. Rebecca is a stonemason. We probably don't need her right away to be a stonemason. So let's see how she does as a forager. And what we want to do is we want her to be able to gather berries. There's, We'll look for harvest wild wheat. We're not going to have her do anything but uh, loot the dead. We don't have any boar. I don't think any sheep right away. So we don't have it. Uh, yeah, there she goes. Already working. All right. So we got that going on. And this guy's just waiting for some materials. I'm, yep, there it is. All right, so in the first episode, we seem to be doing pretty well. We got all of our people doing things. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come back in episode two and expand on from here. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.